CNN News. I'm your host, Joel Purvis. An estimated 5 million deaths are caused worldwide per year by tobacco use, and those numbers are projected to rise to over 8 million deaths annually by 2030. As well, harmful use of alcohol results in the death of 2.5 million people worldwide annually and causes illness and injury to millions more. Increasingly, tobacco and alcohol abuse is affecting younger generations and those in developing countries. In our top story tonight, new studies are showing the effectiveness of psilocybin, a psychedelic drug derived from mushrooms and the treatment of tobacco and alcohol addictions. Kalsum Saeed has the story. Hi Joel, I'm here at Dr. Wozniak and Dr. Memon's lab to get more of an understanding of the current research being conducted. In the Memon and Wozniak lab, they are conducting research on the infamous magic mushrooms and its main psychoactive compound, psilocybin. Currently, they are aiming to isolate psilocybin and its beneficial effects from the more risky psychedelic properties of the drug. This new drug, psilocybin, has been showing to be highly effective in the treatment of tobacco addiction. In a recent study conducted at the Memon and Wozniak lab, participants were administered psilocybin twice in a 12-week period along with typical smoking cessation therapies, and 80% were smoke-free six months later. Typical drug and behavioral therapies designed to target smoking have an effectiveness of less than 35%. So how does this drug work? I'm here today with top researchers, Dr. Wozniak and Dr. Memon, who are here to help us understand. The short answer is, we are not entirely sure. To give a bit of background, the cells of the brain known as neurons, and part of the way neurons can communicate with each other are through what are known as neurotransmitters. An important neurotransmitter that you may have heard of is serotonin, which binds to receptors on the surface of neurons known as 5-HT2A receptors in the cerebral cortex which is the part of the brain responsible for thought, perception, and cognition. Psilocybin has a very similar structure to serotonin and therefore it can bind to those 5-HT2A receptors. It's been seen that stimulation of 5-HT2A receptors by psilocybin decrease activity in areas of the brain, particularly those in what is known as the default mode network. The default mode network is, is believed to be involved in introspective thought, a person's sense of self, and our ingrained thought patterns and behaviors. During addiction, the default mode network in the brain becomes over-engaged with negative thoughts and cravings. When the default mode network activity is decreased because of psilocybin, people can break out of these destructive neural patterns. The binding of psilocybin to the 5-HT2A receptors in the brain has also been shown to cause hallucinogenic effects of the drug. The hallucinogenic experience from the drug can last anywhere from 3 to 8 hours, and it might be the key to the drug's success. Patients who took psilocybin reported that the drug helped how they view their future, and this in turn strengthened participants' belief in their ability to get over addiction. Psilocybin seems to play a role in changing their life priorities such that quitting smoking becomes more important than their desire to smoke. As previously mentioned, psilocybin downregulates the default mode network, an area of the brain that is linked to consciousness and the sense of self. This suggests this drug may work through some higher order psychological mechanisms that are not yet fully understood. This contrasts with typical drugs that often work only through a simple biological pathway in the body. In the future, we are hoping to further study the psychological and physiological effects of this drug to better understand why it has the effect it does and how we can optimize it for the treatment of addiction. Initial studies in this field have been exciting. In the future, psychedelic drugs may show great promise in addiction treatment. That's all from me, Kulsum Saeed, DMN News.